Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Sephora Play unboxing. Um, not really an unboxing, just showing you what I got because I've already opened it and started using some of this stuff and I actually really like it. So, when I open it up, there's this little play card um, that comes with it. If you take this to Sephora, you get, um, and you purchase something, have them scan this, you get 50 points, um, Beauty Insider points. So it'll help you get to like the VIB faster, which is pretty cool. Um, and then inside here is everything that's in the box. So we'll get to that in a minute. But um, this is what it looks like. It came in a little, comes in a little bag and it says, make it snappy. And it's like a purple and then the ribbon is green. But let's see what's in here. The first thing is an Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. This is interesting. I tried it a few times and I'm not a big fan, but I, you know, it could just be the shade. The color um, in here, it tells you all about it. And then there's 20 addictive shades. The shade in here is SPL. I don't know if you can see that, the lighting. Um, it's like a duochrome shade. Um, it's really pink, really glittery. I don't think I'm a fan, but it's cool. It's cool to try, right? So we'll pass that on. My um, three-year-old likes it because it's super sparkly, so maybe she can just use it every now and then. Um, the next thing I'm really, really excited about, it's a Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. It came on, like, attached to here like that. Um, it's the new Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. Um, it's, let me open it for you. I've been using it and I really love it. It's like a, almost a banana kind of shade. It says it's translucent. Um, but I have been using this under my eyes, like to set my concealer and then in my T-zone and it's been fantastic. Um, so I'm excited to keep trying that some more. The next thing in here is a Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. I haven't tried this yet, and I maybe I'll try it tomorrow. Um, but it's, I don't know, I guess it's, it's a blurring skin tint. So it's not really a foundation. It's not really a, um, I wonder what the coverage is like. Oh, it's super thin. Let me see. That's not bad. It's probably perfect for, oh, and that smells good too. Um, it seems like it's gonna be perfect for the beach or even um, on our mini Disney trips. Who knows? That um, We went to Disney this past weekend and I should have taken this and I forgot to. But that's cool. Um, the next thing, um, another thing that I'm excited for, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. Yeah, Perfector. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to try this either, but it's kind of got like a peachy color to it. And it feels very like silicone-y. Um, kind of, it feels kind of the same as like the Smashbox, um, what is the Smashbox one? You know, the clear Smashbox primer. That's, that's exactly what it feels like. But, that's cool. Um, mattifying's fantastic, so excited to try that. Um, really I think the only thing I got to, I actually tried in here was the Bye Bye Pores Powder. And it's fantastic. So that's cool. Um, the next thing in this little box is a fresh um, Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. That's kind of cool. Little. Um, the paper that comes inside says it's a five minute facial in a jar that targets dull, rough, and dry skin. I don't have dry skin, but it still seems nice. It 
It smells really clean, despite the seaweed kind of scared me. It's a seaweed radiance facial. This, the seaweed kind of scared me, but it smells like clean, I don't wanna say it smells fresh, but it does. A clean, fresh scent, so that'll be fun. And then the last thing in my bag is a perfume sample. I don't even know how to say this brand. I think it's Miu Miu, M-I-U, M-I-U. Who knows? But it says it's a soft floral blend with an edgy musk. Oh no. No, maybe. It's kind of like a sophisticated floral. Could be cool. We'll have to try it out. Um, that's it in, for today's video, guys. Um, that is my Sephora April box now that it's almost the end of April. I don't know what's been going on, but my boxes have been coming super late. I used to get them like the 13th through the 15th, and now I've been getting them like in between like the 20th and 25th. Who knows, but I'm so glad to have it. Um, but that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.